Ryan Steinecker with Cody Lundgren of the Rich Lady Rebels. Coach, uh, finished the weekend with a tough loss at Duchesne. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, it was tough. You know, give Duchesne credit. They uh, they beat us that night. So it was a tough loss to handle, though. You know, losing always sucks. But we're getting back in the gym today and getting back to work and getting better. So I don't expect to hear excuses from you. I know you'd never give any. But being sick all week, two tough games, and then the third in three nights, that you could see the girls were had some fatigue going on. Yeah, you know, we were mentally and physically tired, but, you know, that's that's part of the season. Uh, it's the same thing we're going to see at State. So, you know, trying to get better and trying for that overall goal of being ready for down there. So we gave it our best shot, and, you know, we're, we're, we're getting better and we're, we're healing up. So we're just getting ready to get back to work this week. That loss to Duchesne give you some stuff that you can, you know, you need to work on and get better at? Yeah, you know, it, you know I watched the game again today, and, we just didn't take care of the ball very well, and we weren't very patient on offense. So it was a bad game for us. So uh, we know that, and we know what we need to do to get better. So we'll keep working on it. Where does that put you in the the region standings right now then? You know, we're in third place right now in region. So this game's pretty important this week. We'll go out and try to get prepared for it and go to Tabiona. It's always a tough place to play in and just, you know, give it our best. Westside on Thursday night, you played at their place, beat them by two. That was a close one. Yeah, it was. So that'll be a good starter game for us this week. And they're a good team. They're they're a feisty team, and they shoot the ball well. So it'll be a good game for us. Last time you played Tabiona, it was here in your home court and lost by two. It was a, a, a battle, a tooth and nail, all the way through. Yeah, you know, was, uh, I watched that game again today, too, just to kind of see where we got beat on. And it, it was good to watch that game. So we'll focus on some things this week and be ready for them. What do you need to do to get get them at their place? Just need to be uh, more disciplined on our defensive rotations. So we got beat a little bit last time in that. So that was a, a higher scoring game, I think, that at least that I expected. Yeah, you know these <laughs> these girls have a lot of history with each other, so that they love playing each other, and it'll be the same way down there. It'll be a it'll be an intense game. I guess uh, you know with all that sickness last week, your girls getting better. You getting ready to get get after it this week? Yeah, I think so. The girls are getting healthy and. It's it's looking up. So that's a tough time to be sick on you know critical region games that week. But I think you told me last week maybe it's a blessing in disguise. To get that out of the way. Yeah, you know it's you never like to get sick, but it seems like once you start getting sick, the whole team gets sick. So hopefully our immune systems will be strong and just keep rolling though. You paying attention much to other teams in the state and what's happening where you're kind of sitting right now? Uh, you know I'll watch you know. You always watch the scores, so it looks like Region 20 is battling back and forth, and they're all tough down there. So they're battling at night in and night out, and, you know, it's hard to, hard to tell after that region tournament where they're going to be sitting. So uh, we'll just keep focusing on our region and just do the best we can with what we can control. Coach Cody Lundgren of the Rich Lady Rebels, thanks for your time, and best of luck uh, Thursday against Westside Friday at Tabby. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it.